The before and after of this bathroom was probably the most satisfying out of all of my free cleanings. And funny enough, it actually wasn't even on my list of rooms to do. I had a main floor to do and a bathroom down there along with the kitchen, living room, dining room. Um, but when I showed up, she did show me this bathroom upstairs and I said, you know what? I'm gonna put it on my list. It's gonna get done. As a mom with three kids myself, I know what a hot commodity bathrooms are. So I wanted to make sure I got both of their bathrooms spotless for them. And if you're new here and you're confused about what I'm doing, I actually offer free house cleanings to those in need who are living in unlivable situations and unable to get themselves out, whether it be due to poor physical or mental health. Because of the way the majority of people have been raised, cleaning feels like a punishment to most and it's not an enjoyable task. So as humans, when we're struggling with our physical or mental health, cleaning's normally the first thing to end up on the back burner because it's, again, not enjoyable. It's not something we wanna do. It's not gonna give us any serotonin or dopamine. So we completely lack the motivation to do it and it ends up piling up until it's so overwhelming that a lot of people just don't know how to tackle it. They don't know where to start and they don't know how to deal with it. So this is where I come in. With my page, I do my best to teach all of the tips and tricks I possibly can. Can. I talk a lot about the correlation between mental health and cleaning, why it happens, how to combat it, and things you can do to make your life a little easier. And then I do these free cleanings, not just to help those who are struggling, but to also raise awareness to show others who are in similar situations that they're not alone. It is possible to get help and change the circumstances in which you are living. You should never judge anyone in this type of situation. You never know what anyone is going through and compassion is the one thing these people need the most. And if you are someone who is struggling and you feel as though your home is not up to the standards that you you want, please always remember that your self-worth is never dependent on the cleanliness of your home.